Kathy Rohrbach was murdered while investigating the practices of the Dilworth Insurance Agency. A trail of clues led police to its owner, Michael Howell. And now we're learning why Rohrbach was there to begin with. WCNC's Glenn Counts has the new information for us. Investigators say these emails and documents tell the story of the final days of Sally Rohrbach's life. In March, one of Howell's main underwriters, GMAC Insurance, fired his company. He was sent a certified letter on the 19th, accusing him of not sending in his client's payments. Nearly two months later and just two days before she was killed, Rohrbach arrived at Howe's office on Monday, May 12th. She emailed her boss in Raleigh. Started the audit at Dilworth today. He is to have the bank statements tomorrow. We don't know if she had a confrontation with Howe over GMAC, but clearly, according to another email, he was evasive. When I asked him about what was going on with him and GMAC, he first replied nothing. So I asked specifically if they pulled his contract, and he did acknowledge that GMAC did pull the contract. On Tuesday, May 13th, Rohrbach continued her investigation. At 9.43 in the morning, she sent this email. He gave me 16 months of bank statements today, all of 2007 except August and through March of 2008. And there were issues in each month. No negative balances, but he is floating money which means he was accepting money from his clients, but he wasn't necessarily sending it where it was supposed to go. So where was the money? That's what Rohrbach was trying to figure out. To do that, she needed Hal's records. Her last email was sent at 12.18 in the afternoon on the 13th. He has no records on premises. Due to the frequency of break-ins and an armed robbery, he takes everything to storage each night. He is to bring in receipts and transmittals for June 2007 to current tomorrow. That time period will be enough to establish if a broader time period review will be needed. Those records potentially could have sunk Howe's business. We don't know if Rohrbach ever got to see them. The next day was Wednesday, May 14th, the day she was killed. Now, it certainly wouldn't be accurate to call Hal poor, but today he did qualify for a court-appointed attorney. His financial statements show that while he ran the business here, he made about $6,000 a month. His bills totaled about $7,200 a month. Reporting live from our WCNC Mobile Newsroom in Dilworth, I'm Glenn Counts.